All right, so I will first congratulate you for finding your way down here, and it shows that you really want to become a sought after top talent in the industry you probably love, or the industry that you want to learn, or that you've been admiring, or that you are in. And I will be teaching you on how you can get yourself to the top position with a few hacks, with a very, very few hacks. These things, people wish they know it. And the reason why lots of people are still stuck is because there are rules to these things. They have formulas to follow. And these rules are not really difficult. The problem, like I said, before you got down here, is that people cannot connect the dots. And from where you are, and to where you want to be there are a couple of things you need to do specifically people just go around cherry pick cherry pick and um, they run around in circles but hopefully by the time you're watching you're done watching this you would realize that you need to do some things and begin immediately so let's start you want to be successful but you don't even know where to start i think this is a problem that a lot of a good number of young folks are facing and it's because life does not have a manual and I really wish that jobs or positions or industries give roadmaps for what we need to do or what you need to do precisely but most times people just come to give you the aspire to Maguire type of stories I was here and then I kept working hard and now I am here what exactly did you do I had to find this out after years. Did you cold email somebody? Did you leave the corners of your room to go apply for the job? How did you get an advantage? What did you write? Part fine, I know this does not work for everybody, but yes, there are rules. There are, there, are, there are general principles that if you follow, would take you a step higher than others. You will know exactly what to start. Did you learn from this platform? Did you learn from that platform? I'm going to be showing you how. So let's talk about you. I am pretty aware that you watching this because I targeted you, you are both 20 and you want to succeed really badly. Everyone wants to succeed desperately. The society, um, the society really talks loud, is loud about success. The society really celebrates success. So everyone above 20 you 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 definitely want to succeed I'm, i mean aside from the personal interest you have your families that you want to help that you want to influence that you really care about your mom that you're like oh this woman has done a lot for me so i need to succeed to help her so this is you you're 20 you want to succeed badly sometimes you get worried if you would ever succeed in life and it's fine i feel like uh, this happens to a lot of persons like or almost everybody when things are not going right for you, the normal default thing is to shrink back and then begin to think about, will I ever succeed in life? I've asked this question to myself several times when I was like two, th four, five, four, three, two years ago. I, I mean, I still ask myself this question sometimes, but then it was just so um, common, like I, I was really occurring. And that was because I was not able to really figure out where I want to do. So most times why you ask yourself this question is because you don't know exactly what you're doing or where it's leading you to like everybody's just you're just on a ship where people are moving but you don't know where it's taking you to you don't know where you're what is what uh, what the outcome will be so um number three you try not to get pressured from the wins of others but it's hard so you go on twitter everybody's talking about at 24 i got my first mansion at 24 i got my first car at 24 23 at 22 at 21 i did this i did that i started my company we raised this we raised that and you're looking at everything and you're like how did these people do this thing exactly you are 25 you're 26 and you the pressure is hitting you from left and right it's giving you jabs but you're trying so hard you are really really trying to keep your calm like I don't want this pressure to get into me because once it gets into you, it shrinks you back in to the self-pity, to the worry, the anxiety and everything. So if this is you, then you're the one that this that needs definitely needs what I'm teaching. If this is not you, please move on. This is not for you. Number four, you currently have a skill and you're working hard, but no results. So this is it. 
you have a skill. They've preached, go get a skill. Everybody should get a skill in 2021, in 2021st century. And you're like, okay, so what skill is there? Content writing, content marketing, software development. Oh, I'm going to jump on one. I've got, how much are they paying? They're paying this. Oh, let me do this. So you've started a skill two years ago, but from where you are, two years now, three years now, you're not still seeing results. Like, you're really moving slow. And you're like, what exactly is wrong? There are a lot of things that are wrong, which is why you are here. So we get to solve this thing together. So are you hard working with your skill, but you're not seeing results? Then still stick around. Number five, you're practically confused about exactly what to learn or do. So this is for another set of persons. You don't know what to do. I mean, you heard about learning skills. Maybe while you were an undergraduate, you did not jump on it. All fine and good. Well, there's never a later time to do things. Never a late time to do things. But um you now want to jump on it because bills are piling up the one the job you're doing probably you're teaching somewhere or something it's not really paying you very well but you want to learn the skill now everybody is doing this i am a this i am a that this person is this this person is that you're seeing some of your mates really really making it then you're seeing some other people that they have been shouting for like five years and you've not still seen the results you're confused okay what exactly am i going to pick i want to pick marketing okay so how do i start i want to pick media i want to go into the media industry how do i start i want to pick software engineering oh everybody say go and learn on youtube so you are on youtube and you're staring at youtube and youtube too is staring back at you and you don't know exactly how to start so this is for you then six you want to become a top talent you have and you have the money you wish I mean, everybody wants to become a top talent in their profession. Everybody wants to be recognized. Everybody wants people to feel like, oh, yeah, he achieved this finally. He really hit the nail on the head. He was able to pull this. Oh, we actually we celebrate your success. We've seen your journey so far. So you want to become a top talent and want to get the money. You're admiring one influencer that is in your industry. You're like, oh, this person really did well for himself. So I want to be like him. And um, look, he's making money now. So, yeah. Then lastly, you're ready to put in the work and see the results. So if you're not ready to put in the work and see the results and you've been able to get to this point, please just call it a quit. Like, you're not ready to put in the work and you want to become a top talent. Let's go back. You want to become a top talent, a soft talent in any industry and you're not ready to put in the work, please and please, I don't need you here. This is for those who want to put, the put in the work and see results. So what are the things you've done? One, you've tried to search online on how to start a skill to succeed. You've heard about the skill. You, you, you're like, okay, I might pick interest in this. So you go to YouTube or you go to Google and you search about um, how to start a skill. So you're seeing so many links. Writing, I want to start a writing profession. Okay, open Google. Ta, ta, ta. This, 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 you see links. Here's how to become a five steps to become a great writer. This and this, this and that, that and this, that and that. Where do you start from exactly? Two, you've tried to learn based on some recommendations from friends. So you reach out to your friends. Hey, dude, I want to learn this. Help me out. And you're like, okay, I'm going to send you a recent link. Now the thing is, your friend practically doesn't understand the position you are in, does not understand where you are in. So based on their level, they're like, oh, I recently read an article. I'm going to share the article with you. The article they are sharing with you is based on their level. And you read it and you're like, okay, um, all right. So what next? You ask that question, what next? So if you found yourself asking that what next question, then I think I'm right about you. Then number three, you've literally jumped on many webinars, posts that you think will help you out. So you heard, oh, we're training marketers and everything. Jump on this webinar, 7 p.m. You had to set your alarm, even though you had something to do by 7 p.m. But you really wanted to be part of it because you wanted to learn the skill or you wanted to scale your skill. You jumped on it and the person is speaking and everything and you're like okay 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 wow well, this is insightful after they are done insightful and inspiring after you're done you're like okay so what next what next is because you're not still tackling you've not tackled your problem you've not addressed your problem you don't even know what your problem is and i'm going to tell you what your problem is and i'll tell you the solution so number four you've read books on how to meet people sell yourself and the likes like you're like, okay, some people said go network. And the problem is networking. If you change, if you get to network with people, you will change your circle and everything like that. You will meet people that will give you interesting stuff and everything. So you don't like books, but you had to read a book and it didn't still work out for you. You try to read books and how to say yourself, read articles, but it didn't still work out for you. You've secretly worried about things, like this is one of the things you've done. You've secretly worried about things and how 
how things wouldn't add up, but try to let the thoughts go. So you've like, at some point you sit down and begin to think about, will this ever work out for me? Why don't I jump onto something else? Will this work out for me? Why don't I jump onto something else? Will this work out for me? Why don't I jump onto something else? Now we are talking about you. Then number six is apply for jobs, but cannot figure out exactly why you're getting rejected. People just don't like you. Is it that they don't like you or you're not doing it right? One, is it that you're not qualified enough? Two, is it that you're not really applying for the jobs that are really, really worth it? Three, is it that you don't even know how to apply for jobs or position yourself for jobs? Then, um, lastly, you've tried to get internship opportunities, but it did not scale through to as well. You've tried to apply for internship, but even you, jobs did not work out. Though, so people are like, go get internship opportunities, and you're like, okay, fine, I'll explore that. But nobody still seems to want you as an intern. Now you've got a lot of problems. So the problem is not with you. Now you might not agree with, but you're using a wrong approach to solve your problem. What you need is a complete growth map. The solution to your problem first lies in actually understanding or analyzing, yeah, understanding, figuring out what exactly the problem is. Sometimes the problem is not that you don't have a skill. Sometimes the problem is not that you don't know what you're doing. Sometimes the problem is not that you're lazy. It's that you don't, you want to go on a journey. You need a map. When you get lost without the map, the problem is not that you don't have the intention of getting to where you want to go in your journey. The problem is that you do not have a map to tell you that this is exactly what where you are this is where you should turn to and this is where you're going this you should go under this place you should try to get to this mountain you should climb that bridge you don't have a good map like you don't have a map so what you need what i recommend what your problem needs to solve yourself and become a sought after talent at this point to become it to grow fast to scale to move from zero to one with your skill or your career to get recognized is a growth map. A growth map will help you with these things. What to learn to stay ahead of time. What a growth map does is it helps you put every pieces together. It connects these things together. And I'll tell you, you cannot learn this thing on YouTube. YouTube is just a wide platform. Everybody there do not recognize you. Like they are just creating the content for everybody. But because I'm aware that these are the problems you're facing, I have put in the pieces you need from A to B to C and down to Z. YouTube, you cannot put in A, B, C down to Z. You can spend three years trying to do these things. And that is why people are stuck. And some people don't even eventually find the solution to these things. So, what to learn? I know exactly what you need to do because I have faced this thing. I'm going to talk about myself maybe after this slide. What to learn is that ahead of others. Um, what what do you learn to stay ahead of others? Where do you go to learn these things? Who exactly? What platforms are there? How do you maximize learning within a short time? How do you take advantage of learning? How do you get to fast track what you're learning? So yeah, I'm going to be teaching you that because if you don't learn, if you're not ready to learn, you might not be able to get solutions to your problem. You might not be able to know what to do. But the thing is, where do you learn? How do you learn? What what do you learn? I will teach you that from my experience, four years of experience of trying to mentor people, build people, and also based on my personal experience from moving to zero, from leaving school, down to finding um, what I'm good at, and then scaling it to getting jobs, like meeting CEOs, getting to code email people to create appointments for deals that people don't know how to do. I will definitely, it's included in this growth map. Two is how to find the right information at the right time. So it's one thing to know what to learn it's another thing to find the next information that fits into what you previously learned i learned this thing over the years and i'm helping you to learn this thing within weeks and months like i said if you're already putting the work please do not continue watching this video this is not going to take overnight this is not something you do in five days and then you get the results this is something you do like you learn you understand you apply you try to look for the results and then it, you try it, it didn't work out like because you didn't tweak it very well, you continue like that. So how do you find the right information at the right time? You've learned A, where do you get B? Most people begin to look for A, go for A.1, A.2, Z, and because there is nobody guiding you. So I'm more like a mentor. I am giving you the structure YouTube will not give you. I'm giving you the structure your online platforms will not give you. I'm giving you the structure um, your friends will not give you. 
So I'll teach you how to find the right information at the right time, how to meet with top talents and get them to open doors for you. This is really important. A lot of you want to meet with the top talents. And you know that it's going to help you definitely. You want to work with them. You want to intend. You're going to work on projects with them. But you don't know how to go about it. So yes, I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. I've done this with a couple of people that seem to be top talents for people. People's mentees, the mentors, people's influencers. I've done this for people's influencers and I have seen the results. And this, I do this thing easy peasy. So also, how to keep navigating till you get to the top. I'm going to be teaching you on how to keep navigating to get to the top. Like these are the basic things of what I'll be teaching you aside from the call. What you need is the complete growth secret course. I had to break down everything to the simplest secrets. And this will help you in your journey, whatever phase you are in your career journey. Maybe you're at the point of you're confused about what exactly you want to do down to you want to get things done you want to be like the big picture in your mind this is what you need this is what you need you need vid youtube videos you're getting it this is structure so um the first thing you'll be learning is the starting out guide starting out guide in the cost of the starting out guide itself is five thousand naira. but let's talk about like every of the things i'll be teaching i'll be teaching you six different things and each of them cost five thousand naira. but because it's a cause i'm combining everything together to make it one and then we'll talk about the pricing let's leave the pricing for now so in this class and it's something you can pretty really afford because this is something you really need in this class you learn how to start a skill from scratch how to choose high paying skills or fields the fast growth learning framework so there is a way to start a skill from scratch i personally i have different skill portfolio i know product marketing i know growth marketing i know content marketing i know um content writing um, product development i learned all of these things within a very short time because i know how to navigate myself when it comes to learning what to do when you want to start do you start by learning from youtube is youtube the best place to start or probably medium or probably google i'm going to be explaining that i also teach you how to choose high paying skills or fields sometimes it's not just about skills this is not just for people that are into tech or digital skills this is also people that are actually in corporate jobs i'll teach you how to start in your corporate job, there are some things, your softwares you need to learn. How do you know the software you need to learn? I'm going to talk about that. Fast, then three, fast growth learning framework. I'll teach you how to learn fastly. Then number two, second thing you're learning is the high talent growth secrets. You will learn how to, you learn how to join the right circles to scale up. There are lots of circles that you don't belong to that you're missing out from because you don't belong to them. What, let's assume you're part of them. There are a lot of things that you'll have changed beyond your mindset about, oh, there are so many opportunities here. Oh, this is how this is. All right, yeah, so that's it. Number two, you also learn the best tools that will speed your growth. Three, you learn the productivity formula for efficiency. If you are learning all these things and you don't have a productivity formula, you might not as well make progress. Many people don't know how to be productive. You spend so much hours in your WhatsApp or your phone on social media. Believe you me, I put in a lot of things to help me balance my time on social media. One, I don't check people's statuses. I check just very few statuses. I um, turn off my WhatsApp read receipt. I'm not saying you can follow all of these things, but there are other things that you can do. I turn off my WhatsApp read receipt so that I don't get to see the number of people that check my statuses. Because once you see it, you'll be like, okay, let me check again who has now checked it. That saves me that time. Two, I also turn off my WhatsApp read receipt so I will reply people conveniently at an appropriate time without them feeling it. So I'll teach you a couple of all these things. Then the networking code, this is one of the most powerful skills. Even this course itself alone should be worth 50,000 euro because once you get these things, it changes the ball game for you. I will teach you how to network and get connections, not just for your people in your skills, but how to network with people, with people virtually and physically where to go network, how to get connections. I'll teach you where the big guys in your industry stay and how to match up similar to the previous one but this is more advanced then i'll teach you the big winner psychology how to relate with them there is a way to relate with them that they'll be like oh i need to talk with this guy i cannot just shut this guy up i cannot just let him go like oh, okay um this is how to win this is this this is that i do this then another important thing to learn is the confidence strategy how to hype yourself you know the skill but you don't know how to hype yourself how to sell yourself how to sign up your service what are you? I am an enthusiast. I'm a tech enthusiast. Oh, come on. Don't say you're a tech enthusiast. Like, are you not good already? You've spent three years. And the reason why they don't want to relate to you is because they think you're a rookie, you're a newbie, you're just starting. So I'll teach you how to hype yourself. I did this very well. Where to sell your confidence? 
how do you channel your confidence? A lot of you are just not confident enough of what you do. You feel you're not expert enough. I'll teach you that too. Then you brand strategy. How do you build a brand about you around yourself? This is not just about skills. This is like in the corporate world, your job, how to build a brand around yourself. I did this when I was working with a company and I was always attending meetings and stuff and I branded myself as a business consultant. Yeah, and I met with people, very influential people. Then next, I'll teach you the mastery guide. You how to master your skill, the framework to follow to master your skill, how to stand as a master in your industry too as well. It's one thing to master a skill, it's another thing to be seen as a master in the industry. I'm going to be teaching you that. How to own a niche in your industry. Your industry is broad. How do you own a niche? How do you like streamline, streamline, streamline? So this is what you're going to be focusing on. So uh, diverting money to your portfolio. The last one is the money code. Diverting money to your portfolio. Um, like how to begin to make money coming to what you're doing. The create it and end it technique. So you know something. Um, how do you make money from it? Like there are many things that you know in your industry, but you wish that you could make money from it. I know how to make cakes. Okay. Uh, there are so many cake makers, but can you make chin chin or like can you make some other snacks? How do you how do you begin to like leverage on? Okay, I know this thing. I want to create the opportunity for me. I know this thing. I want to create money making opportunity for me. I know this thing. If you can do this too, it's, it makes you really, really like bring more people to focus on you and um, your skill. Then lastly, how to stay afloat while building the secrets. Yeah, the secret to stay afloat while building. A lot of people are building themselves, but you don't know how to stay afloat. So in other words, how to start side also that you can do and that will bring some money. So let's calculate this. Like This cost is like 5,000, 5, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 30,000. But... I'm going to give you this course for what? For just 10,000 error because it's you. So here's my story if you don't know it. Firstly, I, the society gave us a lie that once you have good grades, you get a job. But sometimes this is not true anymore because of how things happened. But you can just check, go through this. I got my first job eight months after school, 250K without a degree. How did I do that? I pulled it. I pulled the stunt on LinkedIn. And that was because I knew a couple of things that you people don't know. And that is what exactly I'm ready to teach you. So uh, this is all you'll be learning again. Starting out guide, the high talent growth theory, the networking code, the confidence rule, the mastery guide, money code. And I've explained this. Then some bonuses. How to be attractive to recruiters on LinkedIn. I used LinkedIn to get my first few jobs, first two jobs. One was a content writing gig with an international blog. Two, and I just did it by cold emailing the owner of the blog. I cold emailed him and I got audience. I was able to sell myself with just a single email. Then I got another job, which was a 250K job. I got it via a chat on LinkedIn. A chat, a 30 minutes call, and boom. 250k. How did I do that? Yes, I'm going to be teaching you how to be attractive on LinkedIn. I've also gotten like lots of offers on LinkedIn via LinkedIn. We had job recruiters like we check it. I think you're a best fit for this job. I want you to apply. Please come and apply. We for now we might pay you two thousand and stuff like that. I'll teach you how to do that. Then money making strategies with your skill. Like I, this is like a comprehensive part of the previous one. The strategies to use to make more money. How to get internships. Very important. The work-life balance resource. How to balance your work with your life. How to balance your mental health, your family, and every other thing. So, then you get a lifetime access to my community. We hold weekly live lectures. Look at this. David David Adeleke of Equal Atlantic Head of Communications. How, how to build a career in the media industry. Um, how to Ola Benjo, how to become a global talent in the marketing industry. So, we hold like weekly meetings like this. So, um, yes. Weekly articles, emails, and videos that will help you grow. I do this. At, uh, I do this also. So all of these things are the things that will help you move from where you are. And we're not just leaving you to learn. Like I said, there is a community where you're actively learning. We're also sharing videos, articles. Look at the articles. You're sharing articles and videos, and you get it in your email. You also watch it on YouTube. So if you're not part of us, this is the time to be part of us. But you cannot be part of us because this course is um, very important for you to get started. So. This course should be worth 100,000 error. People pay 200,000 error to learn things like this, to get to where they want to get to. Sometimes you, you, you might have been paying more and they just teach you the course and they let you go. And they just, and even it's not even really, really addressing your problem. This is going to address your problem. And because I just want you to learn this thing, I really want you to do this and grow because the unemployment rate is just so high and people are just confused, getting depressed everywhere. This course will be broken down and discounted to 10,000 error. 
so if you're watching this wherever you are watching this right now i just wanted to hit on the start the course button pay and i would see you at the other side let's start and kick start right on time ten thousand error the price is going to increase once few people pay for it when people start to rush it and you might get a chance to miss it and maybe i change my mind i'll double the price in a few when a few people sign up to it and then triple the price to to the real value of its worth and you might just have to pay for it for that time if you don't make the decisions now so make the decisions now if you don't well i would just say think about how you've been struggling struggling if ten thousand dollars seem too big for you think about what you've been doing the stress you've been going through how you've been really worried this is the solution to everything now click on start the course button and let's get started right immediately